So today I'm going to be taking a look at this survival kit from Tech House Survival. And it looks like a pretty nice kit. I don't know everything that's in it yet. We'll have to check it out. And I'll show you a picture of his card. So you got his links and I'll post the links down below. And then after that, we'll check out this kit. See if it's any good and go from there. So the first thing I noticed right off the bat is you have the piece of fat wood. Fat wood is awesome. It's great for starting fires. And it's wrapped in jute. So this is really awesome. And it's got this piece of string on it. It's a nice length of string. It's just nylon cord. But if you take this off, it's great for like shelter building or something. Let's just say you're building a lean-to. Your initial branch you put up there, you can use this to tie it off. Or if you're doing like a TP or something, you take your initial three pieces and you tie them together. This would be good for that. So even this kind of string is very, very useful. And yeah, I, I think I might take this off and see how well the, the jute takes a spark because I've actually never used that before. So... Let me try to untie this and we'll check that out. So I decided that rather than trying to untie this whole knot, or this whole string, I just take a piece of the, the jute off and basically you just fluff it up and it's supposed to take a spark. Now, I don't have a ferro rod on me. I assume there's one in this kit. so. I'm going to set that aside for the time being, and then when it comes time for it, we're going to test this out. But, let's open this up and see what all is in it. First of all, I like the box. It's a nice waterproof container. It's like heavy-duty plastic. It's a really nice container. Right off the bat, I see some fishing stuff. We got, we got some fish nuggets in here. I would go test this stuff out and see if I could catch anything with this, but I'm pretty far from any place where I could fish, so that's going to have to be saved for another day. There's a wet fire tinder in here. We're definitely going to test this out and see how well that works. I've heard a lot of people say a lot of good things about this, but I've never used it myself. This right here, I'm not entirely sure, but it looks like a fire fuse. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Yeah, you just fluff this up and then you ignite it. So I'm going to get this all nice and fluffy. This looks like it would take a really nice spark. And when it comes to fire testing stuff, we're going to definitely test this as well. So... This stuff seems really nice. I hope it takes a good spark. It looks like it would. It's super fluffy. So, definitely going to test that out. It looks to be a roll of high visibility duct tape. That is always extremely handy, especially the high visibility. Orange is a great color for anything in a survival kit. Duct tape comes in handy for more things than you could possibly know. <laughs> There's a lot of times I wish I had some duct tape out there. Everything from shelter building to fixing clothes or making new clothes or literally anything you can think of. I mean, you, you can make so much stuff out of duct tape. Plus, just putting it on something so you can have a little, like a little orange strip on there so you know, you can see whatever. You know what I'm saying. It's for visibility. The next thing I have is this little... UV flashlight. That's always kind of cool. If it was a lot darker, you'd see how well that works. It is quite bright. I'm just blinded myself. And it's very small and compact, so that is definitely an awesome thing to have in here. 
And here we have a survival whistle. Now, I actually like to carry a whistle with me when I go in the woods because I live in bear country. And I've had to whistle off a few bears before. So, it's always nice to have a whistle. Plus, if you're out there with somebody and you're surviving and you're hurt or you're trapped or you're stuck, you can whistle to them and then they can find you and the whistle is very handy. See how well this works. Very well. Got some tweezers here. I always like to have tweezers in my kit. You never know if you're going to have to pull out a splinter. I know a splinter doesn't seem like a big deal, but when you're in a survival situation, a splinter be can become an infection and it can get you extremely sick. You can lose limbs from it. It's a very serious thing. So, good set of tweezers are always nice. And also, for pulling off ticks and stuff like that, tweezers are really nice to have. And here we have more fishing stuff. We've got a spool with some line on it, some hooks and some sinkers and stuff like that. And I'll go with this stuff. We've got a nice little fishing kit here. And again, I'm pretty far from where there's fish. I mean, there there is a, a small river out in the woods there, but it's a very long hike to get there, and we'll get to that another day. I'll definitely be testing out a fishing kit. Here we have a button camp compass. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I usually think that these are, you know, cheap and everything, but... It's still nice to have. I, I like having a compass. I have a few of these button compasses, and even though they're cheap, they do still work. So, it's small, it's compact, it works. Always nice to have a compass. You never know if you're going to get lost or whatever. Here we have a little bottle of super glue. Now, one thing people don't, a lot of people don't know is if you're out surviving or something and you get a cut you can super glue it and they'll see all that cut shut and even a lot of hospitals do that now and this way if you don't have bandages or something like that you can just super glue your wound shut so this is really nice to have in your survival kit always take a thing of super glue and I'm just going through this with whatever's on top I'm not going in any kind of order but here we have a little multi-tool, got a little gut hook type thing right here and some various tools for you, a little screwdriver and pry bar and all that. I, I have some of these, I never really found a, a, a need for these yet. This one kind of looks like a rabbit, it's kind of cool, but I don't know, maybe one day I'll find a need for this. If I'm out surviving, chances are I'll need everything I have and... I'll probably need it but for right now I've never used one of those before here we have all kinds of stuff like alcohol pads sting relief got some cotton swabs in there this stuff is invaluable when you're surviving especially in summer months when you have a lot of stinging insects that sting relief is going to come in handy. I don't know if you ever got stung by wasps or hornets or just biting flies in general, but it, it can really ruin your entire day and your entire camping trip or whatever it may be. So always have sting relief. And the alcohol pads, always good for sanitation. And also good for getting fires going. But we have a lot of stuff to try out for fires, so I'm not going to waste it on that. all kinds of stuff in this little bag here are some aqua tabs and what these are is for um, making water sanitary and safe to drink so if you are surviving and you have to get like pond water or puddle water or river water or something you put these in your container and 
it'll sanitize your water, making it safe for you to drink. So always great to have. By the way, they do tend to leave a weird iodine flavor. It's okay. It's not the, the best thing in the world to taste, but at least the water is safe. This is a can opener. Doesn't seem to... There we go. Got it open. It was really stuck on there. I have a few of these. I like these. They're really simple once you get used to it. You just put it on your can like that and you just pry it all along. Really simple to use. Really effective. The military uses these because they're small, they're compact, they're light, and they work very well. So that's a good thing to have. Here we have a razor blade. Now I'm not going to take it out of the cardboard because I'll almost certainly cut myself and then have to use that super glue. But it's always nice to have a blade in there in case you don't have a knife. I always have a knife, but let's just say I was out there surviving with all this and I lost my knife. I still have this razor blade, so that's very, very useful. In all honesty, I don't know what this is. I think I'll have to ask. And then a little ferro rod. And we're going to use that to light some of this stuff in a little bit once I get through all this. And we're going to see how well this stuff all lights. But let me put all this stuff back in this little bag and then we'll move on to the next thing. So the next thing that we have in this kit is a couple small zip ties. Zip ties are always handy. You never know what you're going to need to clamp together or whatever and they're good for all kinds of things i mean you can use them as like a makeshift tourniquet if you're losing too much blood on your finger and just carrying all kinds of stuff together i always like to have zip ties i think i have a yeah i have a bunch of them sitting right here too i always have zip ties around always then the last thing is this bag I'm sorry if, I, if I'm sweating a lot. It's like 80 degrees out here. I'm used to winter weather. So the first thing in this bag is a little sewing kit. And the reason that a sewing kit is good is if you're surviving, not only do you want to keep your clothes together so you don't run around naked, this ain't the Discovery Channel, but you can also use the thread and needle as like a, a suture if you need stitches, if you cut too deep, you can sew yourself up. So that's always handy. Here we have some paper that says, right in the rain. So apparently it's waterproof paper. And it even has a little pencil. Now I don't have any water around here, but what the hell. Sweating, right? And you can write on this when it's wet. So, there's that. I might have been kind of gross, but easiest way to test. And then here we seem to have some... I just knocked the whole case over. Here we got some weatherproof matches. And we, there's, there's a few of them in here. But... I wonder if that's what this other thing was. Hold on one second here. Try not to get cut on this razor blade. I wonder if this was the striker for that. I, I just launched it off the table. Let's give that another try. Hopefully I'm not so stupid. And there you have it. And this will burn for quite a while. It should be windproof. So, definitely good. I've, I've tried to blow it out. It keeps burning. And these may be waterproof. I'm not entirely sure. But, found out what this is for. It is the striker. I kind of thought that at first because it felt like it. But I wasn't entirely sure. But, there is the entire Tech House Survival, survival Kit. Now, 
One thing we haven't done yet is test out the uh, fire starters here. So we're going to do that right now. So I have my ferro rod. It is a very small ferro rod. And I tried to use this for it. Oh, there we go. Okay. It wasn't giving me sparks before. I know I had to get some of the black stuff off, but it's finally working. The first thing I'm going to try is the jute. I cannot throw sparks with that thing, so I'm going to use my knife. I don't know if you can hear it, but I keep punching the table. This tiny little ferro rod is so hard to get a hold of and use. I'm going to try fluffing this up a little bit more. I might have to get my ferro rod out here because this one's just really small. And it's, it's difficult to use. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, so this ferro rod is just a little too small for me. I had to grab mine. So, now we're going to really test out this jute and see how easily it takes a spark. And it's on fire. That was pretty simple. Worked quite well. So, that's definitely... A good fire starter. Next we're gonna try this stuff and this is really fluffy and really nice. This should take a spark super simple. I have no doubts that this is gonna light right up. Took a few tries, but I got it. Can't hold it because <laughs> it was a small piece and it was burning really hot. But once I actually got it with the, the sparks, it, it did work very well. So that is definitely a good fire starter. And the last one is this wet fire. This is from Ultimate Survival Technologies. I've seen this stuff and... I've been thinking about getting some, but I never got around to it, so I'm absolutely curious of how well this stuff works. I'm just assuming you take the chunk and shoot sparks at it, so that's what I'm going to try to do. And it's burning. I'm not going to grab it. But it's definitely on fire. Whoop. Trying to burn my house down here. <laughs> well, that stuff works really well. So, for the... Just let it burn. For the three fire starters that are in it, they work really well. This ferro rod would work. It's just, it's really hard to get a grip on it. It's so tiny. And if you can see that, I don't know if I'm pointing it at it right. That stuff's still burning. And it honestly smells like a barbecue. So, works very well. All in all, I say this is a really nice kit. The only real issue I had a problem with was this tiny little ferro rod. That's kind of ridiculous. 
but it's a small compact kit. You're not going to get something like this in it, of course. And I could probably put something on here as a handle to hold it better, which I'm probably going to do. That wet fire is still burning. That stuff is amazing. I highly recommend the wet fire. That stuff is awesome. And I honestly think it smells really good. This stuff, it, it did take a spark pretty well. It took a little while, but it, it did work. And the jute worked really well. And I already know that the, the fat wood works extremely well. I've done that in a video already. You can check that out. And that is the Tech House Survival Survival Kit. And all in all, I say it's definitely worth the money. I'll post a link to the, the website in the description. That stuff is still burning. And it's like not even halfway through. That stuff's amazing. But yeah, I'll post the links in the description. Definitely go check out his website, buy some stuff. He's got all kinds of cool stuff. Not just survival kits, but also knives as well. And I have a few more kits that I'll be testing out as we go along. So keep an eye out for those. I'm really looking forward to it. And that's pretty much it. So thanks everybody for watching. And anything else you want to add, let me know in the comments down below.